And we're back live from Amsterdam, live from ThinksCon 2017. We're talking to a lot of guests, uh, uh, people that have been on stage doing sessions uh, all afternoon. Uh, stay with us because we have a couple of more talks to go. Uh, but first we have, uh, um, let me see, Gert Kortoen. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome. Um, you did a session today. I did a session uh, yesterday, a workshop yesterday. Yep. Uh, called uh, Democracy by Design. Uh, it's about safeguarding public values when we design smart public infrastructure, especially energy infrastructure. So I did that with Aliander uh, and uh, Meryl Norman from Maastricht University. And we're looking at uh, what happens when we put s smart algorithms into public infrastructures, what kind of values go into that, and who decides what kind of values go into, the, into these systems, um, so that uh, these decisions are not necessarily just made by engineers, but also actually informed by sort of the values which we as, as people, as, as citizens have. Yeah, so, so to start with the beginning, democracy by design, then you need to have a definition of democracy. So what, what does that mean here in, uh, in this perspective? Well, I mean, d democracy uh, by design simply refers to the fact that we're looking at uh, the, the fundamental values that sort of make up our society, our de democratic society, that might be equality, fairness, uh, inclusiveness and, and so on. Um, and uh, algorithms and uh, technical systems, the Internet of Things and in a public space affect those values. Um, as a concrete example, we're looking at the electric vehicle charging infrastructure. And increasingly we need to put uh, algorithms and data into these systems because if everyone drives an electric vehicle and wants to charge at the same time, the grid falls over. So the system is starting to make decisions and might have to make a decision, well, you're going to get electricity at this point in time, but you over there, you, you do not get. Or you have to wait. Or you have to wait, yes. Um, and so th there are decisions and, and people get sort of uh, pushed back in the queue in a way. Others might get prioritized and, and there are different ways of how you can do that. And, the impacts are not necessarily obvious. So you're not necessarily, you don't know necessarily uh, if certain people get marginalized systematically because they, they live in the wrong part of town. Or there's something wrong with the algorithm. Or there's something wrong with the algorithm. Um, and, and so we need to, and, and we, we don't also, since this is public infrastructure, we don't know, we, we should be aware of the public values, our values as a society, that sort of, they, they should inform that. Do we want that uh, as an infrastructure that sort of makes sure that people get treated fairly? Because if, if you're, for example, looking at congestion systems in London, there, if you, you can pay, uh, if you drive a particular car, then you don't pay. So th there is no fairness in the traditional sense. It's sort of a, you pay for privileges or certain people have but that's preferences. A, that's a funny thing that already uh, came to mind with me when you said, okay, like democratic values as we have, like yeah. uh, uh, well, uh, uh, fairness, uh, uh, inclusiveness. They, these are more like utopian democratic values because they are not actually in our society. They're officially, we, we strive to have them, yeah, but in, uh, in reality, yeah. I mean, we, we, they're, they're not there. Yeah, uh, they're, yes. they're, we're halfway maybe, but it's, it's not completely there. No, that, that is true. Um, so you actually, but, but, you want, to, you want to, to go even further uh, and you want to have a system that is actually more fair, Well, more not, not necessarily, but, but we, we need to realize these, these public infrastructures are subject to sort of our value system. And yes, it's not perfect and some people do make decisions. Others are impacted by that and that's sort of the political system. Mm -hmm and authority is delegated to certain organizations to make this decision, and that's all fine, that's how it's organized. But um, when it comes to designing the smart algorithms, we at least currently, the values are not taking account. So it's not apparent who is actually making these kind of value judgments, and we want to just make that explicit and say, look, let's at least discuss what kind of values are relevant for that. Not necessarily saying, oh, what does equality actually mean? Let's define it, let's put this into an algorithm. 
everything perfect. No, I mean, these systems are subject to sort of discussions and it's all a little bit messy, but at least we need to open up the discussion about what kind of values are actually relevant and important. How can we sort of ensure that the values are actually sort of reflected in the design? And then the, the, the other aspect, which is actually uh, uh, interesting in the city context is, is the governance. Um, okay, now we put some value in, we designed it, we hope for the best, but then the system might actually have some indirect impacts which we didn't anticipate, so we need to have sort of a governance structure. And that, in my view, is a design problem. So it's not just product service design, nice user experience and these kind of things, but it's also designing sort of the governance uh, structure around that. Uh, and that's what we discussed in the workshop. Good. So, and you said this was a project that was already well it is, with Aliander. Yes. And, uh, so, uh, Aliander um, started this initiative, um, then teamed up with the uh, Amsterdam Institute for Advanced Metropolitan Solutions, uh, which includes TU Delft, yeah. uh, uh, MIT, and Wageningen University. I'm from TU Delft. Um, and now we have anchored this project within the AMS Institute uh, and we are making progress. We are trying to find new partners. We are trying to investigate certain issues. So this is, this is sort of an evolving story. Yes, and, and in the end, I mean, uh, democracy by design should not only be applicable, applicable to, to one uh, service like uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, electrical, because yeah. all these different services and things yeah. influence each other as well. So it's going to be a really complex uh, yeah, uh, algorithm mean, by itself. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, it's, it, if, I mean, the water infrastructure, public transportation, uh, everything, uh, public infrastructure of that kind, that they all are slightly different, different values might come to play. Um, and you've got incidents, you've got uh, uh, unexpected situations, yeah. you've got, uh, there's, a, there's a lockdown on a road, yeah. or there's a, a, yeah. a panic, or there's a, yeah. a fire, or whatever. So what do you do then? Yeah. And, and in a way, we're not looking at designing a specific solution, but we're trying to figure out how do we think about that? How do right. we design for that? Trying to find a, a framework, in a way, to approach that. Right. And, and I think the interesting thing is, since Cities might have different ways of doing that. Different cities might have different ways of doing that. So these infrastructure might have a local flavor because the values that go in might have a local flavor. And so Amsterdam might decide to do it differently from Eindhoven or, or whatever. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever been to, to Moscow, but there's a different uh, there's different traffic rules for different people with money than... Uh, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. And you can easily go... Yeah. You can drive over the, 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 the sidewalk with your car if you are rich enough and you can have a, 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 well, a blue light on top of your roof if yeah. you're rich enough. So you have different rules for, <laughs> for different kind of traffic yes. in, in Moscow than you Ma have in Moscow at the moment is not in our radar, but no. uh, we're, we're not having any discussions with Moscow, but no. uh, certainly with uh, different cities here in, in the Netherlands. Yeah, and, and you obviously, but this is a, a maybe strange example of Moscow, but, but uh, uh, values, etc., vary uh, amongst countries and, yeah. uh, and cultures. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, we had in the workshop people, obviously, with sort of an American background, where uh, actually the values that came to the foreground were a little bit sort of more capitalist free society, while some European guys had sort of slightly different values. I mean, it was interesting to see that. Uh, reflected in this workshop um, and yes so the, the the systems which we design actually will then be different right. now, now one of the main topics of, of this event is is, uh, is uh, privacy security and ethics by design uh, but they forgot democracy by design yeah, I mean we are not designing democracy uh, in, a, in a way we are, we are just saying look no, the you're design, not designing democracy, but, yeah, uh, but, but the, the, the design the, the takes idea. place in a, in a democratic play, playing field. Mm -hmm. And since algorithms and smart systems and the Internet of Things is making decisions that might impact democracy in, in an indirect way and is public, public infrastructure, uh, there is, it's not just about ethics, it's actually it's about a public space, the rules and norms that uh, uh, hold in public space. Right. So how, how are you going to go forward with this? Um... 
Well, um, we are trying to find a few interested parties, cities and companies to actually do a practical trial. So we have done some design work, uh, prototyping, some theoretical work and pulling together existing knowledge. Now we're trying to uh, set up a trial of a smart electric vehicle charging system that has very explicit algorithms to make some smart charging decisions uh, to investigate these kind of issues uh, in, in real life. Uh, bringing in also cities and local communities because I think there might be an interesting opportunity to design these algorithms in a participatory way rather than leaving that up to some engineers in, in some office far away. Um, so we need to be m more practical and uh, we hope that uh, we can do some experimental work and, and gain some insights in, in that way. And, right. and by example sort of show how it actually might unfold. Right. Because in the end you need to have this uh, um, well, built in into society, into decisions about yeah. all sorts of projects uh, that are, are yeah. involved. And it's not only IoT, it's also other things obviously. Yes. I so this is not just sort of an academic exercise uh, where we write some nice papers, but it's sort of from the very beginning, this is a, it's a very practical problem in a way. It's a massive problem, but I think we can only make progress when we're actually trying to step out and say, let's actually run a trial, let's experiment with that. Um, and see what, how people relate to algorithms, who wants to design algorithms of that nature, uh, who has a stake, what kind of values are at play. Uh, and basically, I wouldn't say experiment with de democracy, but experiment within the democracy and, and see where the boundaries are. Right. Well, sounds great. I hope you will be back next year with uh, some more insights and maybe find some partners yeah. and et cetera, et cetera. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Ruby Grant. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Um, this was another episode from the ThinksCon 2017 live from Amsterdam. We will have a few more guests, so stay tuned.